Uh, well, the president is hoping clearly uh, to Blake's report that if you're offering middle class tax cuts, uh, you'll, you'll tempt the Democrats, who, of course, are not a fan of his tax cuts, which they argue are disproportionately targeted at the rich. Let's get the read from uh, Democratic strategist David Burstein and former Ted Cruz campaign pollster Chris Wilson. Chris, any with you begin with you. Is that going to be a potential differentiator for the president that he can say these are all about the middle class. These are going to be targeted for and at the middle class. Well, I think so. I think you can look to last night's debate and the fact that neither Elizabeth Warren nor Bernie Sanders were willing to admit that their plans would increase taxes on the middle class, which of course they would. And so you can already see the contrast beginning to uh, to formulate itself between at one point, and it was almost simultaneously, you had Donald Trump speaking to the Republican caucus and calling for Republican treat and calling for tax cuts, whereas uh, the Democrat debate, they are talking about how they're going to increase taxes. And at some point, an economist is going to add up all the different taxes that will be created through all the free stuff that the Democrats are wanting to offer as they stand up there and debate and, and try and give away everything for free. And it, people are going to realize that if they want to pay their taxes, they're going to have to work all the way until Christmas. And it's going to become a very important uh, a very important contrast to the two candidates. And I'll, I want to point out also one more thing about the debate last night. You know, it's one thing that was not discussed at all was the economy. And I think it shows the power that the economy has created. And, and the president has actually taken what, in almost every election for president, is the most important mm -hmm. issue, the growth mm -hmm. of the economy, completely off the table. And it didn't even come up last night. Well, in, indirectly it did by bashing the president's approach on China and that it jeopardizes that. But uh, you're right, it was not a theme. But um, David, mm -hmm. I think the president's actually looking out for guys like you, uh, new dads who have a lot of bills, a lot of pressures, and he's trying to help you out. And I'm, I'm wondering how grateful you are for that. <laughs> well, look, I think that um, the president is making a, is a smart move here uh, because I think the Democratic uh, discussion last night you know, did get into this question. Uh, and, and, and frankly, I think it's why Joe Biden was strong last night, because he was talking about how he would pay for these things. And you he was thought saying he was strong? You, you yeah, thought, I, th I, I actually thought he did. What's I thought your in definition general, of strong? I mean, well, I was, it, was the, it was his best <laughs> performance that, that we've seen, and I think he actually Actually sounded and looked presidential, which frankly I've been waiting for him to do for a little while. But but the reality is that he's you caught talking. the record player thing and all of that. And, <laughs> and he made the mistakes like right. everybody else. Like, you know, Neil, you've been in this business long enough. But but look, the reality is I that I said think eight track player or something. There, but, <laughs> there's there's a, there's a clear difference <laughs> between him and Elizabeth Warren in terms of and Bernie Sanders and all these other people in terms of saying, look, we can't do everything and yeah. we need to look out for the middle class. And I think he speaks to that. I, you know, ultimately healthcare. A mistake for it. Democrats to ignore taking Absolutely. the incentive from the president to well, look at a middle class tax cut. Well, yes, of course. And also uh -huh. on top of that, I think the, the, if Democrats could actually show one thing they could do with the president, you know, whether it's on this or whether it's on, on something else or passing you know, trade deal or one of these things, I think that would pay dividends for them hmm. to show that they're for something, they've accomplished something. You know, I, I was at a fundraiser last night listening to some, some great Democratic candidates, but they don't have a record to run on. And it really would help them. And I, I wish that they would look a little bit further here and say, what can they do to show that they're actually producing some results so far with these new powers they have in a difficult and divided government? You know, you do have to wonder, Chris, I mean, the president is espousing these tax cuts great. I mean, a lot of people who like to have that goose economy, that's fine. But he's looking at a trillion dollar deficit right now. And uh, we still have another month to go the fiscal year. It's a record. It's going to probably eclipse, if it continues at this pace, uh, the pace that the president criticized under his predecessor, Barack Obama. Uh, no one talks about that sort of thing. Debt, I guess, is a dull subject. But are you worried? Yeah, well, I think you have to be. But, Neil, as you know, the tax cuts themselves were an absolute minute fraction of, of the deficit. So the two are really kind of a, it's a false Well, I guess what I'm saying is that, but that, that that's gone ignored. Spending issues have gone ignored. By it has party, been. You're right. It just seems as if it's not a message anymore. It's weird for this president anymore. to blast the other side for, you know, spending mm -hmm. and, and promising all this stuff and not do anything to rein it in himself. Well, it is, but think about what it would go to if we started giving away free college and free cars and all the other free things that uh, the, the Democrats are promising throughout. But I, I agree with David. Well, it would be David's smart, kids. I think, of the he Democrats. Needs all the help he can get. Yeah, well, <laughs> maybe just for him, then. I guess you're right. I agree. <laughs> New dads need everything they can get. I can't believe he can get out of bed and, and come and look and all as good as he does. But I, I will say, from a standpoint, I agree with David that I do think it would be good and would be smart for the Democrats to actually work together with Republicans to accomplish something, whether it's on tax cuts, whether it's on cutting spending and putting the deficit back, or even something. whether it's on. Some, 
things like gun control. Yeah, just to have some sort of record because right now well, it, takes it two is. To I think tango. it's what turns Both people off on the, the on, other, right? Does. And that neither is doing. Yeah, it. David. And it well, creates well, a frustration look, with the political system. Sir? Well, look, I, I just want to go back to the point on deficits because I think this is important. I, you know, I, I have been concerned about this issue for a long time. I think it, it you know, either people need to start getting serious about this issue, or people need to just, you know, we just need to continue pretending we live in a happy land. And you know, Trump, the, the, the pres president, does not care about this this issue. He said he's cared about it. He said he'll do it if he has a second term. Well, I don't really, be I don't really neither believe him. Right? right? Well, no well no, to, be, to be fair, to be no fair, we, we did get it. to a balanced budget under Bill Clinton. And you know, and, and President Obama did almost come close to a deal on this that ultimately John Boehner walked away from. Well, but well, I think if memory serves me right, they said the president ran away from. Bottom line well, is, both sides take blame in not addressing this issue. Well, but 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 it's a, but it's a broader reflection of I think this problem of we're just going to kick every problem right. down the road. We're doing it with climate. We're doing it with all these different things, and all no right. one wants to say where's the comprehensive issue to really tackle the it's real not problem. Out there, not out there. All right, guys, I want to thank you both very very much. The Dow up about twenty three point so these guys are single-handedly taking a triple-digit rally and cut it by 75 percent we'll have more after this